Hi and hello guys welcome back to my channel I am KD Today we are going to see how to animate our play a character in Unity using Bolt Because to play the animation we don't need to do this or this even this You may have a big question then how to play the animation Well the answer is Unity's animator can able to play the animation just by telling Hey Unity animator play this animation in this video, we are going to do that. Okay, let's go. First, to animate the 2D images of the character or an object with a complex movement or behavior, we have to create the multiple images of the same object with some little changes using some image editing software that is called frame by frame animation. I'm using a sprite for that and export it as the transparent image. Import it into the Unity asset folder. Select the sprite sheet and change the sprite mode option to multiple. This is important. Without this, we can't be able to create the animation. Once again, change this to multiple because this has the multiple images in it. And if you are working in the pixel game project, you have to change the two options to fix the blurry images. First, change the filter mode to no filter because it gives the anti-aliasing effect for the image. edges to get smoother edges but in pixel game the edges should be sharp so we have to change this from bilinear to no filter next change the compression mode to none it reduces the image size but also reduces the image quality so we don't want that pixel images are already in less in size so we don't want this effect heat apply we have to separate the images of the animation for that go to sprite editor window at the top left corner you will find the slice option select and first select the type depends on your project in my case automatic can do the better job and the pivot should be bottom because we animate from the bottom if not the animation does not looks good to animate the character open animation tab you can find it from windows animation animation select the object you want to animate and hit create now give the name of the animation in my case is idol expand the sprite by clicking little arrow mark select all the image corresponding to the animation and drag to the animation window it create keyframe depends on the image input to reduce the animation speed reduce the sample rate from 60 15 works fine for me play with this to get the perfect animation speed now to create another animation click this little arrow and click create a new clip name the animation and hit enter like that you can able to add the multiple animation for the same object in my case the animations are idle walk jump and fall we have to uncheck the loop time for the jump and fall animation because these are one time animations if you have open the animator tab and select the player object all the animations created are here but one thing you notice our first animation is in orange color because of default animation for the character it is created by unity first animation of the game object is marked as default that means when the game started our animation which is marked as default is play but we don't want our unity animator to play the animation by this way To get rid of this, we have to create the new animation layer and change that as the default one. Right click on the empty places, create state empty, which is empty layer without having any animation clip. And right click on that and select it as the layer default state. Now our animations are ready to activate using Bolt. Select the object to create the new flow machine and name the flow. Hit enter. Now two default nodes are created. Start and update. Drag from start and type animator dot play. It has more nodes, but one we want is with state name. Select it. Enter the name of the animation we want to play. The name should be exactly same. This is nothing but the name you named the animation during creation. Now you see the idle animation is playing at the start. There are lots of way to play the animation. The way we are using velocity change in the player. for walk animation we have to check the velocity is changing in the x axis if the player is not moving the player velocity is on both direction is zero if the player moves horizontal direction the velocity changes in the x axis the value is positive during right negative during left side movement and same for vertical movement positive or up negative for down the basics are told let's create the animation together first walk the first thing we have to check the velocity continuously so we need a update node next we 
how to get the player velocity so right click and type get velocity select this and the object we want to get is self which is the graph holding object that is player you want that the direction is x next we are going to check the value from the flow is not equal to zero that means check the player is moving the value changes in float so we have to use the float literal to compare now get branch node to connect it with the update node now now the node gives true when the player moves in x then connect the node and type the name of your animation to play once again check the spelling is exactly same now the walk animation is finished with one bug let's see what is that if we play the game the idol is playing if you move the character the walk animation is also playing but we stop moving the walk animation is continue instead of idle animation for that we have to tell the flow to play the idle animation if the player is not moving that means the value from the axis is zero okay duplicate the node give the name of the animation as idle and connect it from false in brand finish <laughs> but that's not the correct way because the x-axis value also zero when the player moves up that means he plays the idle animation instead of playing jump animation so next we have to check the player is on ground i have created this in previous video if you not see that link is given below and also in icon before the branch connect to the animator node create another branch node and drag the variable is grounded if the value from this node is true then the idle animation should play as well as for walk animation Yes, the flow works correctly. Next is jump and fall. Create update node. Get the velocity of the player. The direction is y. Now for jump, the player moves up. So the velocity will change to the positive value. That means the value is greater than 0. Yes, you got it. Use greater than node and compare with float literal as 0. Now connect it with the branch and create another branch to find the player is on the ground or not. To play the jump animation, player should be on the ground. Then to the animator dot play node. If you are creating the animation only for jump without having the fall animation you can stop here if you have the fall animation or want to see how to do it for future use just continue to play the fall animation we have to check whether the value is less than zero or not if it is true then we have to check the player is on the ground it should be false because the object is falling means it's not on the ground okay guys that's it in this video if you guys enjoyed it give the video a like and share it with your friends if you are new to this channel consider subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get immediate notification and when we upload the new video see you in another video until then